Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to explain how to install Visual Studio. How to install Visual Studio and to run your first React application. To run your first React application from the Visual Studio. So what are the things required? All the things we need to install. It's so like a node we are installing, right? Followed by the node, all React related things we are install how to install all these things i'm going to explain in this video so first of all how to install visual studio it's a simple thing so directly you can google it that visual studio code visual studio code download then from the official website only here it will show that that windows for windows for mac right for Linux, all these things. See here, installer for 64 bit or for 86. 86 means what? It's a 32 bit, right? So we are installing Windows. Here it is when you just click on this, then automatically it will go to that. When here it is, a download will start. Visual Studio Code user setup, right? So as soon as the installation is completed, you just click on that. Then here it is, ins installation prompt will open, agree the agreement. And then here it is, just create a desktop icon. This is everything, set the path automatically and click on install. Then installation will start. So this is the simple way of installing the Visual Studio code into your computer. So by using the Visual Studio code, we can easily develop the UI user interface from HTML, CSS, JavaScript, TypeScript, right? Everything we can install. When you finish it, see here, here it is showing that launch Visual Studio Code, but I don't want to launch. I just make it finish because I want to complete the remaining things also before starting the Visual Studio, okay? So after, after installation of Visual Studio Code, so now to run the Java applications, or to install React application and to work with React application is we need to download and install node. So first we need to check the node is present or not. Right here in the run prompt, we are checking. In the command prompt, yes, we are checking the node version which is installed in my computer. Node space hyphen V. It is showing that node is not recognized as an internal or external command. So nothing but the node not yet installed in your computer. Then how to download? Yes, simply from the Google, we can download node.js download, simple. Node.js, same from the official website node.js.org. Same here it is showing that Windows installer, Mac installer, and then the source code of node. Windows installer, we are taking that direct install installer it is. Just click on that as automatically it will start the installation. When you just click to start installation. When you, whenever it is downloaded completely, then automatically installation will start. Here it is, just click on the next. Same, accept the license agreement and where it is going to install in your C drive, program files folder, the Node.js, Node.js will be installed. Click on next. See these all the packages here, very, very important. This NPM, Node Package Manager is very, very important, right? All these things are going to install and automatically path also will be added right here it is just click on next automatically install the necessary tools note that the also in slurry chocolatey the script will pop up on windows right all these things you will combine now okay after cl clicking that just click on the next and uh, when you start installation, so then automatically that node will be installer. See, after installation of node, again, we are going to check. So let me quit from this. Once again, we reopen. 
the once installation has been completed. See here. The latest version it is showing that 18.14.2 includes the NPM package. This NPM node package manager is important. Yes, it is finished. Finished. Now, here, now if you check what is the version you have installed means, again, I'm open, opening the command prompt. Now I'm checking node hyphen V. Now look at this, it is showing that not only this one, the node package manager also, we can see that which version installed that node package manager is a 9.5.0. This is how to install the node as well as the node package manager right after installation of Visual Studio. Now let me explain how to install the ReactJS. Once the Node.js installation has been completed, then what we have to do? how to start your first React application. Just open any location in your system. For example, in my in my E drive, I'm creating a folder called React, suppose. From React folder I have created. Now, so go to the command prompt again back. Right here, if you want to change the location, drive, E column, then it will go to E drive. In my E drive, Right, I want to change to the directory, that is what React. Now the control is in React directory. Here we need to create the React.js application related things using the node package manager npm in it initialization that React applications, React app, right, with name React.js. Right, what all the things required, right? In that React folder, React.js related things completely will be installed. Here it is. It will collect what all the required packages and it will start installation. That is when you press enter Y. Yes, I want to proceed. Then it will collect all the required things and it will take some time. So once installation, it is completed. So creating a new React app in E drive in the React folder, right inside that React.js. I'll show you once installation, once installation has been completed, how it will be, I'll show you. See, once installation has been completed and it is showing that yes, happy hacking. Right, everything is ready so that you can continue with your React applications development. Now, if you go to that, right, if you double click on React inside that React.js and what all the things which are required, the modules and everything will be installed automatically with a simple command. With a simple command. Now, here it is. If you want to check the same folder, we need to open. Which folder? The React folder, right? We need to open with the Visual Studio. So then you can see that here it is in the D drive, React right click, right click here it is open with the Visual Studio is there. And here it is open with Visual Studio code. This is not Visual Studio open with the code. Whenever we are opening the same folder with the Visual Studio code, see then it is showing that React, yes. Here it is React, in this React JS, so what all the things here it is you can see in the sole source folder you can see what all the things required to start here it is app.css js jsx related things index js all these things about these files i'll explain this later but see here it is the code right where we need to change the code and all we'll see here when you open this so this is app test.js, here it is index.js, here app.js, here in app.js only, actually we are writing the code. Complete React code we are writing inside this app.js and reminding things, all the supporter things, right? What is index.js, what is a HTML file, app.css, everything I'll explain in the coming concepts. Now, how to execute this program? Yes, already they have given one basic program, but how to check 
means what where the program is running and how the program is running just go to the command prompt now we are in e drive in react only now just go to the react js folder also cd we are we have created inside the react js folder now we are in react js folder then how to execute means simply npm start then automatically it will start the server whenever it will start the server then automatically it will show that see just give the access so that application will start starting the application see here it is at the port number 3000 in the local host only right in this server that application will run see this is how to run your first react js application that is see here learn react edit src slash app.js app.js and save now if you want to change that simple modifications you are doing see here it is a course source.js and reload if you want to change it you can you can change the simple thing also instead of giving that learn <coughs> learn react we are giving that welcome to amir pet technologies welcome to amir pet technologies this is the simple thing i have given and then we can run we have seen that see here webpack compiled successfully right and it is executing now sir how can we execute directly from here is very simple here it is <clears throat> go with the terminal terminal create the new terminal in this new terminal option will come in this terminal select here it is a command prompt see here it is powershell is a command prompt in this command prompt go to the react cd react js now it is in react js the same story npm start so you can execute the code directly from here only instead of every time every time switching to that command prompt everything we can do it here here it is a starting now see that local host 3000 and look at this welcome to amir pet technologies everything has changed this is the simple way of set up everything to start working with your react js applications hope you understood this please install the visual studio code node js right and run your first react application thank you